everyone and welcome to my live creative time today. My name is Mandy Witherby from Mandy's Papercraft Creations and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Welcome, welcome. It is great to have you with me. Now, I'm just thinking, did I flip my screen? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I was just thinking for a moment there I hadn't flipped my screen, but I think I did. All good, all good. Um, so as you are jumping on today, say hi and let me know that you are here. Uh, while everybody is jumping on, I will just bring up this live on my iPad and on my computer so that I can see all of your lovely comments. All right. So let's just bring that up here and we'll be ready to go. As you're jumping on, say hi. Let me know that you're here. And I'll just see. There we go. Okay. I'll mute that. There we go, because you don't need to hear me in stereo. So thank you so much for everyone who is here today, or if you are watching the replay, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. We are going to be making a cute little project today, which will be great for any time at all, but also too, it will make a great little stocking gift for um, Christmas or a little table gift or even a little pillow gift. So we're going to be making a cute little lip balm gift box or you might like to use it for something else small. Um, perhaps some yummies, some lollies or perhaps um, you could even use it as a little jewellery gift box or all different sorts of things. Um, anything small will go in this box. So I'm going to show you how to make it today and I've got a couple of um, samples, additional samples as well to show you to give you some ideas. So, um, but we will wait for everybody to jump on and I will um, have a little chat first. So I always love to chat with you and see how you all are and see what you've all been up to and get to know you and have you get to know me a little bit as well. So um, yeah, so feel free to chat with me as you jump on. I love to have a chat. Hey Matthew, how are you going? Oh, last day of isolation for you today. That's great. That's great. I am glad to hear too that you are starting to feel a lot better now, which is awesome. So that is really good. Hopefully you've been able to keep yourself busy. Have you been doing some card making while you've been in isolation, Matthew? <laughs> Let me know. All right. Um, so we will chat for a few minutes while we are um, waiting for a few people to find us. I was running a few minutes late today. Um, so I was, <laughs> I was having trouble tying my little tag onto my sample gift box that we're making today. And um, it just wasn't sitting how I wanted it to sit. And so in the end, I said to Amber, can you just quickly see if you can tie this on while I just go and get myself ready. And uh, so hence, I was a few minutes late. So I apologize for being a few minutes late, but hopefully people will find me and see that I'm live and uh, come and join us today. Um, oh no, all your card making equipment is locked away in another room and you couldn't get to it. Oh, what a shame. Uh, no good at all. Well, I know the first few days you weren't feeling too good anyway, so you probably didn't feel up to doing very much at all, I'm sure. Um, but the last few days have probably been, you've probably been going a bit stir crazy, I would imagine. <laughs> oh, you got it this morning. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Now you can have a little play on your last day of isolation before you, uh, you head back out again. Uh, all good. So we had uh, a, a lovely day. My team and I, we had a lovely day or a lovely afternoon, I should say, on Saturday. So every month, uh, uh, my team and I gather together uh, and we have a team gathering where we do, uh, we welcome in our new team members. We recognize stamp anniversaries, which is our Stampin' Up! anniversaries. Oh, hey, Monique, how are you going? Great to have you with us today. Um, and we do some team recognitions as well. So we have special recognitions that we have each month. And then I give them, I give my team some Stampin' Up! Um, news and I show them a few things, how to do things, how to find things, where to find things on the, on the web store on the demonstrator website and things like that. So things that are helpful. But anyway, this uh, this one we just had was our last one for 2022. But um, 
not only did we do our uh, our meeting portion, which we kept very very brief. Oh, we also to do every year we have every year every month we also have a uh, creative challenge every month, and so I always draw the prize for that month's um, or the previous months actually uh, creative challenge winner, and then uh, we draw a new one as well for or not draw a new one. I announce the new one for the coming month. Um, so that's always a lot of fun as well. But yes, but what we did is we kept the meeting portion very short this time, and then we had our Christmas celebration, which was a lot of fun. Um, so we had um, some of our team members, it's a really busy time of year, so some of our team members weren't able to join us um, live but they always watch the the replay um, but we had a few that were able to come and from our wider team so I have my my team who are people that have um, joined directly with me then we have a wider team as well who um, of team members who may have joined with one of my team members so we have a large team which is awesome and uh, we love gathering together every month uh, bringing the whole team together, which was super fun. Um, but yes, we had our team gathering and I ran a couple of games for them, um, Christmas related games, which was super fun. Everyone had a great time. And uh, yeah, we, we just do lots of fun things with our team. So um, yeah, so it was that was a really fun afternoon. And then after we did all of that, um, we had some free crafting time. So some stayed around and, and did some crafting. Um, I made an extra Christmas card because we still I still got quite a few Christmas cards I need to make um, with the help of my trusty assistant Amber. Um, yeah, so we've been madly making Christmas cards. So um, yeah, all right. So I'm just catching up on comments. I'm just scrolling back through. Um, oh, you already made two Christmas cards this morning, Matthew. Well done. That's fantastic. Great. Um, Monique took a leave day as she knew she'd be wrecked after the markets yesterday. Oh, okay, that's good, Monique. So you've got a day of rest today. That's awesome. Awesome. Oh, and the thunderstorms are just hitting you now. Yeah, we just actually had them roll past us. Uh, we had a few spits of rain here, but just some rumblings. Uh, we could hear the, the thunder, but uh, I think it bypassed us. We're kind of in a bit of a channel where we are, and often the storms, they go either side of us. So yeah, we, we don't often get the really bad ones. We, we do get some, but uh, often the bad ones miss us, which is good. So, and it's semi sunny at the moment. The sun's trying to peek through the clouds. Um, so it must've headed over to you, Monique, after it was uh, over here at us. I think it's come down from the mountains and it's heading, heading towards the city. So um, yes, it's one of those crazy days, but I believe it's quite warm outside today and with the hot weather, we always get those storms don't we <laughs> so yeah so um yeah so mark uh monique had markets yesterday matthew's been in isolation um who else have we got joining us today anybody else out there i can see that we've got some other viewers is anybody else game to say hi and uh, let us know that you're here and have a chat with us so it's always great to chat um yeah so anyway so we played um, we had fun games and um, one of them we did a crafty treasure hunt and they had to find certain items that I gave them in their craft space um, where they were for the team gathering and because uh, we do all of this via Zoom. All of our team gatherings are via Zoom because um, my team is spread all over the country. So um, yes, we've got lots of interstate uh, team members so we always do our team gatherings via Zoom so that everybody is welcome to come and join us. So yeah, we did a crafty treasure hunt and then we did another uh, activity where um, I was rolling a colored dice and there were three different colors on the dice, so two of each color. And each one of those colors represented an action and they had to, when that color was rolled, they had to um, perform that action on their card. So they had um, some choices of ink, some choice and, and stamp sets to stamp they had um, a couple of choices of ribbon and of embellishments as well. So we kept it very simple so that they would be quick, so there wouldn't be uh, too many choices. And they had to design a card, but they had to do it with the roll of the dice. So it was super, super fun. And oh my goodness, they're so creative, my team. 
I was blown away with um, their thought processes behind their card and I think we rolled I think we rolled ribbon three times before we even rolled embellishments and then stamping didn't get rolled till later on and it only got rolled once so they only got to stamp once so <laughs> it was lots of fun and uh, and their cards were, were awesome they did such a great job um, yeah so that was lots of fun we had lots of laughs and even with the treasure hunt too so I was giving different um, categories or, or different suggestions of, of things and um, they interpreted that in different ways which was super exciting and again funny and fun because um, they were coming up with all different types of items so I was getting everybody thinking and yeah just a lot of fun and uh, and we were talking about Christmas and sharing our our different traditions and favorite Christmas things and it was really lovely it was really lovely and a few of us were dressed up um, all Christmassy so that's always a lot of fun too um, I posted up a photo on Saturday evening actually of um, everyone holding up their cards so you might have seen that here in my um, business page uh, if you missed it go back and check that out after I finish my live today and uh, you'll see the cards that they created there were some amazing cards they created out of that game so that was our day and then yesterday just doing more card making Christmas cards writing on Christmas cards went and did a little bit of Christmas shopping with Amber um, and but we weren't we weren't in the shop we only went to one shop and we weren't there for very long because then I had to yeah I'd had enough and <laughs> I had to sit down <laughs> so yeah so we had to make our way back to the car um, but yeah we got what we needed so that was really good that was really good so yeah busy weekend but don't the weekends go so fast oh my goodness we're already at what, what is today's date actually today's date is it's here on my computer somewhere where is it I'm trying to see where it's showing up on my computer um, hang on I'll just, just look at the calendar oh it's the 5th of December today so 5th of December 2022 already oh my goodness all right well we have got a few here now joining us so we might um, continue on feel free to keep chatting um, pop your comments in as I'm chatting ask any questions that you might have chat with each other um, as I continue talking and I from time to time we'll keep scrolling back through those um, through those comments and questions that you might have now let me tell you a couple of things that are happening in the Stampin Up world so we have a big clearance rack refresh at the moment as well now I didn't actually check it this morning when they uploaded that last week uh, last what day was it last Thursday it was just last Thursday but a big clearance rack refresh so they are retired items that Stampin Up has brought back that are brand new that they've put in the the Brand, brand new retired products. They're basically surplus products. They popped in the clearance rack, heavily discounted up to 60% off. And I know that some of my customers um, have been taking that advantage and getting some great bargains, which is awesome. I'm so glad that I could um, let you know about that so that you can grab those bargains. So up to 60% off. So check out the clearance rack if you haven't checked it out yet. Not sure how many things are left at the moment. There were four pages worth of items on um, Thursday. So I'm not sure how many are left. I didn't get to check that today. I could quickly check that while I am chatting to you. Um, I'll just bring my keyboard over here and And I can quickly check that for you while I am chatting and telling you of some other things. Now, also too, on the first of um, uh, on the first of December. Sorry, I'm getting distracted now because now I'm quickly trying to find it. <laughs> um, was there? It is there. Was the last chance products okay? So the last chance products, is that back to front? It is back to front. So I didn't flip my camera. I thought I had flipped. Hang on, let me flip. I thought I had flipped and I haven't flipped. There we go. Now we're around the right way. <laughs> now I've got to just adjust my camera because now it's too high. There we go. You might see I have a little friend in the background too. He appeared today on my craft shelf there with my cardstock. He wanted to come and join me today for my for my live my Facebook live so let me introduce um, Elfie to you all this is Elfie he gets his way around our house 
he does he's very sneaky he shows up in unexpected places each day so um uh, today he's playing hide and seek in my cardstock so <laughs> bit of Christmas fun um, last chance products so these products are from the uh, July to December mini catalog and you know what I didn't even grab out my catalog let me grab it for you because we're going to be using some product from it today that are part of the last chance um, product sales and um, they are on special some of them are on special so let me grab the catalog I'll grab all of our lovely catalogs. We have got um, two that are coming up and we've got two, one that is current, which is our annual catalog. And then we've got the one that is retiring, which is this one, the mini catalog. So this is the July to December mini catalog. And this is the one that's got the retiring products in it that are part of the last chance sale. So um, if you, want to get any products from here um, I do suggest today is actually the 5th of December and Stampin' Up! had said to us if uh, that we should let our customers and team members know that if they want to get products or be sure ensure that they get their products by Christmas that they should get their orders in by the 5th of December and I did let my customers know that a couple of weeks ago when we were told that um, so yeah they're still not 100% guarantee but um, you're more likely to get them in time for Christmas. So if you're looking for Christmas gifts um, or Christmas gifts for yourself uh, and you want to get them in time for Christmas, be sure to get your orders in by the end of today, whether or not you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, um, if you're one of my customers or if you already have a demonstrator that you are working with, then um, try to get those orders in today if you can so that um, you can be sure that you've got them in time for Christmas because it would be really sad if you didn't get them in time for Christmas um, in saying that too if you need help with any um, gift giving ideas then please send me a message and let me know and I would love to give you some suggestions um, I love to help people to find gifts and I want to make sure as well that all of my customers um, are all good with their gift giving so if you if you get stuck if you're unsure of what to purchase for um, your your loved ones your family your friends then uh, please get in contact with me um, either via messenger or email and um, yeah I'm happy to help you and offer you some suggestions of um, some gifts that you could purchase for your loved ones for Christmas all right so last chance list there is a list which I did put in um, last week so there's some things already sold out though. So once they have sold out, um, they will be discontinued. Now there are some items that are on the last chance list that are non-orderable. So if you go to the online store and you see that it says underneath them non-orderable, that means that there is more product coming. So there's more stock of that particular item coming. If um, then if you don't see them at all in the online store, then that means that they have all sold out and they've been discontinued. Um, so yeah, so just be sure to check that out. The best way to find out if things are available or not is go straight to my online store and, um, and check that out and you'll see all of the items there that are available. But this is a beautiful, beautiful catalog and we're going to be using some products from there today. Um, so we'll get to that. Now we've got our annual catalog, our big annual catalog. This one is still available and this one goes until um, the end of April 2023. So we've still got quite a few months of this one to go. Um, and then we've got our beautiful new catalogs coming. So we've got our beautiful new January to April. Oh, I've still got that paper in there. I must take that out and leave that out. I keep pulling it out every time I show this catalog. <laughs> it was my, my um, shopping list there we go um, this beautiful new mini catalog is coming out in January on the 5th of January and it goes until the end of April 2023 lots and lots of beautiful product in there I just um, I have another order about to arrive in another day or two of a few more new products from there and I already did a big um, box opening a week or two back was it last week or the week before I can't remember now but I did an unboxing of some brand new products. So check that out in my videos if you haven't already seen it. And we've also got Celebration coming in January as well. So Celebration um, 
is running from the 5th of January to the 28th of February and with orders of $90 and $180 or increments of 90 um, you can choose free product from celebration from the celebration brochure during that period now all of those products I have talked about today you can actually get as a demonstrator right now so we can pre-order from the mini catalog we can also pre-earn these and get them now from the celebration item which is why i have got more coming i've got a whole stash already and i've got a whole more coming uh, a little bit more coming i've got a whole lot and i've got a little bit more coming um, but as stampin up demonstrators we can order them straight away um, we can order them now already so we get them earlier before everybody else and we get our demonstrator discount as well and we also get our demonstrator discount on any of the sale items as well. So if sale items are already reduced by 60%, then we get our demonstrator discount on that, on top of that as well. So that is awesome. So all of those things that I have mentioned can also be put into the Stampin' Up! Starter Kit. So for $169, you can choose up to $235 worth of product now, because some of these things are on special, it means that you get more for your dollar if you are spending, uh, sorry, if you're purchasing some of the last chance products or the clearance rack products, um, you can get more for your money because they're already discounted and you get them at the discount price. You can put them in your starter kit. Um, you get free shipping on that order. So that's another saving. Um, and you're only going to pay $169. And then you'll basically have from now until April, um, to be able to take advantage of a 20 to 25 percent discount with Stampin' Up once you have um, put that starter kit order in and so then if you would like to stay on uh, beyond that that is totally up to you you're not locked in at all either um, I mean if you decide that um, you've changed your mind or whatever that's no problem you just go back to being a customer so you basically stop ordering as a demonstrator, go back to being a customer, but you have until April at this stage, if you join now, to enjoy that discount. So why wouldn't you join, get the discount, get all those items now, get that extra special um, deal now, and then, um, and then once you get to uh, April, then if you would like to stay, um, there is quarterly minimums. And the quarterly minimums, they work out at about $125 a month. Um, you can spread that out over the three month period, uh, which is the quarter, or you can do um, one big bulk order per quarter. It's totally up to you which way you do it. But as I said, you'd have until now, from now until April. So if that is something that you'd like to do, as well as join our fun crafting community, um, it's really a beautiful place to belong in our team. And uh, there is such a sense of belonging there in our community. So we would love to welcome you in and include you um, in all of our, in all of our um, team activities. Um, so if that is something that you would like more information on, please get in contact with me and let me know. Um, or you can go, if you've already made the decision that that's what you would like to do, you can go to my blog or to my website and you'll see a join button there. So on my blog, on when you go to my blog, which is mandyspapercraftcreations.blogspot.com, you'll see a join button at the top of on that home page. When you land on that home page, you'll see um, shop, join, and then you'll see about my tutorials and my classes and things like that there too. So I like to direct everybody there because um, yeah, there's lots and lots of stuff there as well. So let me know if you'd like more information about that and I'd be happy to give you more information. So um, also too with these catalogs, if you are one of my customers and you have not shopped with me in the last six months, well, sorry, my customers automatically get one. Um, if they have shopped with me in the last six months, I've already ordered those to be sent out. So they'll be going out soon in the next couple of weeks. But if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator that you are working with or you haven't shopped with me for more than six months, then please get in contact with me and let me know that you would like a catalogue and I can send you the link to, um, to put your name on the list for a new catalogue. Alrighty, that is all the information. Clearance rack is what I was checking for you. So I've got that up now. I'll just open that and have a quick little squizzy and we'll see what is left in there. Let's see. Oh, we've got dies. We've still got lots of dies in there. Paper, embellishments, 
more paper, punches. Oh, there's lots left actually. That's awesome. And they are hugely discounted. We've got um, beautiful ribbons, embellishments, dies. There's three pages worth of products. There you go. So some have sold out and um, so much paper actually left there. I'm surprised that that paper is still there. So those paper packs are reduced down to $8, some of those paper packs, just $8, and they're beautiful. We've got also some um, ombre specialty paper. Um, there's some gift boxes, more punches, more paper. And let's see what's on page three. Let's see what's on page three. Oh, on page three, there's some Christmas paper, some Christmas foil and some felt um a velvet sorry the red velvet um tag punches sequins for everything they're really cheap they used to be 21 dollars. they're now only eight dollars 40. i won't go through all the prices because i did that the other day on my live yeah so check that out there's some decorative masks there as well which is your um your stencils um more ribbons embossing folders more oh, metallic pearls i love those metallic pearls i was so sad when they retired um yeah, so there's three full pages there of um, clearance rack items. So be sure to check those out. Now, all of the um, the links to my um, to my everything's actually <laughs> can be found in my link tree link, which is which is a link extender. If you go to my in my bio and you click on link tree, it comes up with all of my links. So it'll link you to my blog, my um, my website, my online store, there's a join button there, um, any of my latest classes. I've just finished um, advertising, we've actually closed off the last class for the year. Um, that's actually happening on this coming up Saturday. And in the new year, I've got some new things happening with classes and they will start up again in January. So uh, at the end, I think it's the end of January, the 4th, the fourth week of January, I think it is. I'll have to double check the dates. I can't remember, but yeah. Um, so yeah, so check that all out. And that is all what is happening. So we might get to crafting. I'll just quickly scroll through these comments. Um, oh yes, Amber said things are going quick with the, uh, the clearance rack because it's down to three pages now, yes. And it started out at four pages just a couple of days ago. So things are selling out. Um, and the last chance products are selling out quickly too. Yes, we checked the um, the inventory status report. Well, I checked it this morning, and um, yeah, there's quite a few. The list of discontinued products from the last chance sale, um, which is from the mini catalog, the list is growing. So things are selling out. So be sure to um, check that out if if there were things there that you um, had been wanting. Hey, Dimity, how are you going? Great to have you here. Hi Roz, great to have you here. Hi Jill, great to have you here. Rebecca's here too. Hey Bex, how you going? Um, yes, some amazing sales in the last chance and clearance rack. Yes, Bex onto it. Yep, there you go. Yep. Alrighty. Okay. Well, how about we get to some crafting? I'll just bring that back on my eye on my computer, and my screen is frozen over there again. For some reason, my screen keeps on freezing over on my computer. I don't know why. It's only when I'm live, but it, um, yeah, there we go. We'll see. Oh, Fran's here as well. All the way from France, Fran. Bonjour. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome. Great to have you. All right. So my screen over there seems to be doing funny things oh there we go it's all good all right okay so we will um tip down to the desk and i will show you what we're going to be creating today um, i've got a cute little box for you as i mentioned at the beginning but if you joined a little bit later um i've got a cute little box for you um it fits a um nivea lip balm in it but you can put a different type of lip balm in there or a lipstick um, or you could put some jewelry or you could put something yummy in there. Um, lots of different ways of you. Oh, yes, from France. Ah, wonderful. It's so lovely to have you all the way from France. That's very special. Thank you for joining us. Um, so, yeah, so I am going to show you this little box. So what I'll do is I will cover up the camera and I'll flip down to our desktop. Um, 
so I want to, uh, <laughs> not from fromage. <laughs> fromage is like a yogurt, I think, isn't it? Is it like a dessert? Is that correct in France? I know that we used to have here in Australia um, a yogurt that was called um, fromage frais. F fromage frais or fromage fresh, something like that. F yeah, I can't remember what it was called, but yeah, it was like a yogurt. So <laughs> I'm not sure if that, is that actually a place maybe in France? I don't know. I'm not very good with French. I have to apologize. Oh, it's cheese. Is it Matthew? Okay. Oh, there you go. Matthew knows his French. Very good. When I was at school, um, I mostly learnt German. I learnt German for four years. But when I was in, I think, uh, year seven or grade seven, um, we had one term where we learnt French and another term where we learnt Japanese as well. But then we, we did German and then German was the one that I stuck with then for the next the next few years but um, yeah I don't remember very much of my French I'm afraid I never kept up with it and uh, which is a shame because I love the French language I love the French um, accent and um, oh fromage frais yes yes you don't understand all I say oh I'm sorry and I speak very quickly so I apologize. <laughs> All right, I'm going to cover up the camera and we'll tip down onto the desk and we'll get started. So here we go. Okay. All right, so we'll put the camera down. Oh, I just dropped my water bottle or tipped over my water bottle with my, I knocked it with my cable. All right, let's see. There we go. Okay. Now we can move that out of the way. Let's move that over there. There we go. And lights. Nearly forgot the lights today. Oh, and we're back to front didn't flip there we go that's right now and we straighten up okay I think we are good I think we are all set up and now we'll just move all of this there we go okay now if you are shopping with me let me just see here no it's all good all right, if you are um, shopping with me, then this is my December 2022 host code. Be sure to put this host code in when you're shopping with me. Um, all orders over $75 receive a thank you gift from me when you use this host code. So be sure to pop that host code in so that I can send you a thank you gift for shopping with me. Um, and all orders receive uh, a thank you card, of course, too. Okay, all right, so we are, oh, let me bring in the catalog. Oh, here we go. So this is the catalog that is retiring. Now the products I'm using today are also retiring, but are still currently available. So I thought, well, I'll give them one last hurrah today and we will use them and um, create a cute little gift box. And I'll show you which products they are first. Um, they are the Splendid Day products from pages 64 to 65. Oops, wrong page. Let's turn the page. There we go. Oh, we have some more friends joining us. We have Susan from Nevada in the USA. Welcome, Susan. It's great to have you with us. Thank you so much for joining us all the way from the US. Must be very early hours of the morning over there right now. So, yeah. Oh, it's so great to have all of our friends here coming from all over the world. We've got New Zealand. We've got France. We've got the US. So exciting. Thank you all for joining me today. All right. So these beautiful Splendid Day Suites, they, 
the products in this suite are so gorgeous so so beautiful um, and I have them to show you today um, but yeah there is so much you can do with these products and we've got some discounts on some of these at the moment because they are in the last chance sale because they are retiring which is very sad because they're so beautiful we, we get sad when our um, favorites retire but these are the ones that we are playing with today so let me show you um, first of all the stamp set so this is the splendid thoughts stamp set it's a cling stamp set so it's the red rubber stamp set okay and it comes with the stickers so you can put the stickers on your stamps um, so that you can line them up and you know where you're stamping um, so you've got some lovely sentiments in there as well as these uh, the foliage and this cute little bee which we're going to be using today as well and then there are some coordinating dies these are the dies here now you've got um, dies that will cut out the uh, sorry I'll just move my light there for a minute because that is just reflecting a bit too much um, dies that will cut out the foliage here the bee and this foliage and then you've got all of these additional pieces so this one this one this one this one this one we've got a little um, bowl here or a little um, pot plant as well um, and then these ones are the ones that these one these two here and these ones are the ones that cut out the stamped images now this is a two-step stamp set as well so you do have um, some color fill stamps as well that if you don't want to hand color these you can use these stamps here that coordinate and they can uh, you can use them to color in portions of your stamped image as well so they're like your solid shape to put um, in the inside and they're almost like a distinctive stamp they've got the different um, shadings in them so it looks more realistic so that's the stamp set and dies then we've also got um, the beautiful open leaf trinkets oh let me give you the prices on those um, so the stamp set is not discounted at the moment okay so it is full price um, the dies, however, they are 30% off. So they were $60 and they're now down to $42. Okay, so if you, um, when you're ordering them, if you put them in separately, that the, the codes in separately, that would come to, if you're ordering both, that would come to $83 for the two. And then we've got the um, open leaf trinkets. These are on special at 50% off and these are beautiful. Look at these so pretty um, and these are now uh, they were $14 and they're now only $7 and you get a lot in here actually you get 20 20 of those trinkets in there then you've got the beautiful soft sea foam seam binding ribbon and we're going to be using some of this today this is 20% off it was $14 and it's now only $11.20 and it's a very very soft color and this one, because it is a soft color, it's in the soft sea foam color, you can use your stamp and blends to color this um, in other colors as well. If you use some of the darker greens, it makes beautiful green colors. You can also use some blue colors to make it um, a different color. Um, and also your natural, your natural blends as well, your natural tone blends. So you can have fun coloring that any different color that you like. But the greens, if you need a different, if it's not, if you don't have the right color green ribbon, you can use this one with your stamp and blends and color it the right green that you need. And then we've got the gorgeous um, designer series paper. Now this is specialty designer series paper and this is all I have left. So let me move these other items out of the way and I'll bring this paper out to show you. So this paper, um, is specialty because it's foiled on one side sorry about the noise of the plastic it's foiled on one side and on the other side it has a flat design on it a flat finish design so this paper comes in 12 by 12 sheets and it's a pack of 12 sheets of 12 by 12 inches and um, it was $27 and it's now only $13.50. It's 50% off. And look at this beautiful foiling. So this is the copper, 
the copper colour. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. And there's this one that's the gold. So obviously this design is um, replicated on the other side. So you can use them as strips in your scrapbooking, as 12, 12 inch strips in your scrapbooking. Or you can cut this into three pieces or even smaller than that if you wanted to. But if you cut it in three pieces, it forms a card front. So wouldn't that be beautiful on a card front? And the same with this one as well. And then we've got these ones which are full patterns. So that's the copper. We've got um, some champagne there some soft sea foam and this one is fresh freesia so it's one two three four five six and then when you turn them over these are the patterns on the other side so they're a flat pattern but they're really beautiful this one's a neutral a really nice neutral one it's got a lot of um, texture in it as well which is really nice and then you've got that leaf pattern there and this one um, is really pretty as well. Actually, this is the paper we're using today, this one here. And that's all I've got left of it after I've prepared our projects for today. Um, yeah, so I love this one because I love purple. I love pink and I love purple. So that's, that's the paper. So yeah, so this is 50% off at the moment. So if you don't already have this, um, make sure you get it because it is beautiful. So, so pretty. All right, so let me show you what we are creating today. We are creating a cute little gift box. Now, I created this one for my team for OnStage. So we went to OnStage, which for those of you who may not know, OnStage is a demonstrator-only event that happens every year um, in Stampin' Up! And this year was the first time that we had gathered in person for three years because our last couple of years had been um, online because we all know what's been happening in the last couple of years and we couldn't meet in person. So I made this cute little box for my team and I put a little lip balm in there and I made a little tag on there and the little flower on here represents our team logo because we have some of the, uh, the Melon Mambo colour in our, not that this flower is actually Melon Mambo, but it's close. Um, but we have a lot of pink and green in our team logo as well. So um, so that's the little box that I made for my team. Oh, hey, Amanda, how are you going? Great to have you here. Hi, Julie, great to have you with us as well. Oh, Susan says it's 9.40 p.m. on Sunday. Uh, in Nevada where she is in the US. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not too late at all. Oh, that's good Very good. I was thinking it must be like early hours of the morning or something But uh, that's not too bad. Oh, it's lovely to have you with us Great All right, so that's the one I made for my team members who came to on stage then I made this one as well um, as a little Christmas gift and this one has actually got something inside this one is empty because I took out what was in there and I'm using that myself but this one has got a little gift in it for someone for Christmas so this one I use some of the designer series paper um, this one I think is gone this is the is it the bowels of holly Christmas I can't remember what it was called I think this designer series paper might have gone but I wanted to show you this one because um, there's lots of Christmas designer series papers still available in the last chance sale and um, they're all reduced. A lot of them are reduced 40%. So this makes a great little gift. You can pop that on your table on Christmas day. You can pop it on someone's pillow as a little pillow gift, or you can use it as a little stocking stuffer as well to pop in a stocking, a Christmas stocking. So what you do is you just slide the ribbon off. There we go. And you can see I've just put the little decoration on there and then it just slides out like that. And there's my little lip balm. Okay, so that's a brand new one. That's not a used one. <laughs> so I've got that in there ready to go for a gift. And that's as easy as it is. And then you can just slip that ribbon back on. So it does slip back on this one. I haven't got done up too tightly so that I could slip that back on and off to show you. So isn't that sweet? I didn't need very much decorating on there. Um, I just put the little holly leaves and the, um, I used some red rhinestones for the berries. So if I hold that up to the camera, you can see that. 
and then this one I added a little tag but the one we're doing today is a little bit different again same box but using those beautiful products and this is the one we're going to be making today so I've used that gorgeous fresh freesia metallic designer series paper and then I've created a tag with the dies and the stamps I've got the ribbon as well and I've used some um, copper foil um, copper foil cardstock and I've actually die cut two of these little um, pot plants or little pots I should say and I've put one on the back as well so that the back looks nice and neat as well so you can't see where I've attached the um, the embellishments so that's what we're going to be making today it's really really easy to make them before I do let me show you a couple of other cards that I made um, in a Stampin' Up! event earlier in the year using this suite and some of you who are demonstrators may have seen this and even some customers may have seen this because you might have participated in the uh, the event. There was a third project as well, but I've already given that one away, but I still had these two. So these are using some of the products from the same suite as well. So we've got the, um, the stamps and the dies here, some of the designer series paper and the ribbon. And then here we've used the negative part of the, um, the pot and um, some of those dies. And we've done a little bit of heat embossing here with um, the leaves from one of those stamps. So there's just a couple of extra ideas as well using those um, products. But let's get on to making our little box, our cute little box. So I'll show you how to create the box. All right, so you to do this, you are going to need a, um, a paper trimmer that has a cutting blade and a scoring blade as well. If you don't have one that has a scoring blade, but you have a scoring tool, like a Simply Score tool or something like that, then um, you'll want to get that out as well. All right, now I've already got my cardstock and my designer series paper cut ready to go, but I will, will give you those measurements so that you can um, cut yours. Now feel free to craft along with me either creating one of these boxes or creating your own projects um, and if you are crafting along with me let me know what you're creating today I would love to know what you are creating all right so the first piece that we have um, is this one here so we need two pieces if you want your box to be the same color on the outside and the inside which I do um, so I've got two pieces of the same um, color so this is fresh freesia this piece here both of them are the same width so they're both seven and a half or 7.5 centimeters oh thank you Fran you like that one it's pretty it's a pretty cute little box it's very easy to put together very very easy and you can decorate them in all different ways um, so this piece is 7.5 centimeters by 12.5 centimeters okay and this piece here, I've got little bits of ribbon everywhere, is 7.5 centimetres by 13.5 centimetres. And then you have a piece of designer series paper. This is to wrap around your box. So it wraps all the way around your box. This piece is 6.5 centimetres by 13.7 centimetres. Okay, so they're the three pieces that you need. Um, then you'll need some white cardstock. So I just used scraps and the copper foil cardstock as well. Again, I just used my scraps. So we'll get to that in a moment. We'll make the box first. All right, so our first piece, which is 7.5 by 12.5, we're going to do some scoring on this. All right, so we're going to use the, the light color blade. So we've got the two blades. The light color blade is for scoring. The dark one is for cutting. Now I've already cut all my cardstock, so I'm going to move the cutting blade away and we're just going to use the scoring blade. Now we're gonna score at 2.5 centimeters on each side. So each side and then the top and the bottom, 2.5 centimeters. So I'm going to use the measurement that's on this side Okay, because this goes up to three and a half centimeters. So I'm just going to use the measurement on this side just to make it easier to hold 
the cardstock along this edge here because there's a little a little edge there to hold our cardstock so I'm going to go two and a half centimeters okay see how I can now hold the cardstock here and I'm going to run my scoring blade a few times along there then I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do the same on the other side 2.5 or two and a half centimeters here we go and then we'll move to the short side and we'll do the same two and a half or 2.5 and then the same again turn it around 2.5 okay so now we've got all of those score lines let's move that over actually I'll move that just off camera so it's not reflecting the lights okay so now what we're going to do is we are going to burnish each of those fold lines so I'll just grab my bone folder okay and what we're going to do is we're going to turn that over so that we've got the mountain fold facing up the mountain fold is the raised part of that embossed line okay and we're going to fold with the mountain fold we're going to fold towards the mountain fold okay so we're just going to fold on each of those lines use your bone folder to burnish those lines okay so we're going to do that end and that end and then we're going to do the sides as well okay so now we've got all those score lines now we're going to do some cutting so we're forming the, box, the base of the box first before we do any other parts, okay? So we're going to take our paper snips and we're going to cut on those vertical fold lines, okay? So we're just cutting up to that first horizontal line. Okay, and then we'll turn it around and we'll do the same on the other side. This is a really, really quick and easy box to make. Okay, so we've got all of those pieces cut to there. Now what we're going to do is what is called mitering. We need to take just a little wedge of cardstock out of each side to make it easier for the box to fold in. Okay, so we're just going to take a very tiny slither of cardstock out of each of those cuts, including on your ends there as well. And you just take that up to that first horizontal score line okay you don't cut beyond that horizontal score line there we go so see you end up with a v in your cardstock oh i missed this one i think did i do that one there we go and then we need to do this one here too there we go Yes, all of the measurements. Thank you, Fran. I actually forgot to um, say that all of the measurements will be on my blog. I will be putting up a blog post with this project and all of the measurements will be there for you. So be sure to um, check out my blog. They should be up there tomorrow for you. Um, And I will post that also on, I'll um, put a reminder on my Facebook page that it is ready up on my blog for everybody to go there and get those measurements. We'll take a little bit more off that one. There we go. Uh, did I do that one? Yes, I did. Okay, so then when you are finished, it should look like that. Okay, so we've got all of those little triangles cut out of the box like that. Okay, you're welcome, Fran. <laughs> Hi, Rose, how are you going? Um, you're a little bit late, that's okay. Uh, yeah, no worries, you can catch up later. That's all good. All right, so that's the base of our box. All right, so we can, um, we can glue that all together now and have that ready. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now flip that over upside down and on each of these tabs I'm going to put adhesive. I'm using Stamp and Seal Plus. You might like to use, um, actually I'm going to use my silicon craft sheet so that if I get any excess um, adhesive 
it won't go onto my desk. Um, you might like to use multi-purpose liquid glue. Um, it's not a big box, so you don't need a really super strong adhesive. I just like to use um, this one. This is a new one I just opened actually today. So hopefully it will be kind to me. Oh, get that running. There we go. So I'm just putting two little pieces of tape onto each of those tabs. There we go. Did you know that when you're using your tape runner, if you're having trouble getting it started, if you just run it on your silicon craft sheet, it advances the wheel and it brings the adhesive to the roller. So then it gets it starting again. All right, so now we've got the adhesive on there. What we're going to do is we're going to fold in these edges. So we'll do one at a time. We'll fold that in and then fold the side up. And we're just going to line up the edges like that. And then we'll do the same on the other side. We'll just line up those edges there like that. Okay. And then with this one, we're just going to fold that in line up the edges line up the edges and then that's it and then just give that a nice good press on the inside of the box there we go that's the basis that's the base of your box super super easy it's a nice little box all right so that's the base now we're going to move on to our larger piece and this one measures 7.5 centimeters by 13.5 centimeters and we need to do some scoring on this one as well so we'll bring back in our um, trimmer our stamp and trimmer and we are going to score this one now at we're going to score it at four different places so we're going to start with scoring it at 2.7 centimeters so 2.7. Okay, then we're going to move it along to 5.4 centimeters. Then we're moving along to 8.1 centimeters. and 10.8 centimeters okay now you should have one two three four five sections scored there on your box all right so we're going to fold again with the mountain fold on the inside we're going to fold all of those and burnish with our bone folder Okay, so we have all of those all folded. So what is going to happen is these are going to adhere like that. Okay, so then it's going to form a square like that. All right, so all you need to do is add adhesive then to the end piece. So I'll run two pieces of adhesive along there. Then if you fold that piece, the other end, fold that down and then fold the whole thing in half till those two pieces line up and meet. Okay, then we'll give a nice press and there we go. And that is going to be the bottom of the box. So that's the base. So we're going to turn it over that way. And then we take our other piece of our base and we slide that in like that. And there we have our little box okay so now comes the fun part and we start to decorate it now when you're decorating the outside of the box it's a good idea to have the insert of the box inside it gives it some strength while you're doing your decorations all right now what I did was with my designer series paper which is again 6.5 centimeters by 13.7 centimeters we're going to find the base of our box 
and find where that join is. I'm going to line the paper up with that. Okay, and we're going to centre that. All right, so we've got the same amount of distance on either side. Okay, lining up with that edge. And we're just going to fold it around the box. Okay, making sure that that's nice and straight. Fold that around the box. And as you get to the edge, if you just sort of pinch it, it'll crease the paper. Okay, then we'll take it to the next side and fold it firmly. You want it to be nice and firm and pinch the box. I'll put it down on the desk now. And then fold again and pinch. Fold again and pinch. And if you have put that on straight, when you get to the bottom of the box, that should line up like that. Okay, see how that lines up? All right, and now what we're going to do is we're going to, we've got those little score marks now, we're going to burnish those. So we're going to fold it and we're going to burnish with our bone folder on each of those fold lines. Last one. There we go. Okay. So then uh, we find the bottom of our box again. Where's the bottom? There it is. So just check that I've got that the right way around. Yep, beautiful. And that wraps around and meets beautifully along the edge there. Okay. So now we need to adhere this onto our box. So we're going to be starting with the base. So with that, that piece that folds over to the base, that's where we're going to start. So this time I'm going to use some, um, some glue. Actually, I'm going to go this way. So I'm going to use some glue. So I'm going to put the box down like that so that it kind of holds the paper in place. Actually, I'll go this way because I'm right-handed. It kind of holds it in place while you're putting the glue there. Now, if you want to use, um, if you want to use a dry glue, or you might want to use tear and tape. Tear and tape is good too. If you want to use a, a tape runner, you'll have to position that so that you can get your, your tape in there. But for this part, for the wrap, I find the multi-purpose liquid glue is a lot easier. And also to then, it means that you, if you don't get your paper lined up exactly in the right place, you can um, wiggle it a little bit. So you've got that wiggle room to wiggle it into place. All right, so then I'm going to put that on the box and look, I haven't got it straight. So I need to wriggle it over a little bit. And that's the beauty of the liquid glue is that we can wiggle it over to get that lined up. There we go. All right, and then we give that a firm press. Okay, and then we're just going to do each section the same. I'm just gonna do one section at a time. Okay, making sure I'm getting it nice and straight and lined up. And just do the next section and you just go section by section and just take your time to get that lined up make sure that you're pushing it towards the edge so that that next fold is right on that that edge there there we go and next one and then the last one is actually going to fold over the first one. And that is just so that that's, um, there's no seams, like you don't, there's no gap. In case you don't fold it right or you don't cut it right, there's no gap. So it's just gonna fold back over the base and that should line up beautifully. There we go. So there is our pretty little box and now we just need to decorate it. Okay, so now you can put in your, your lip gloss or your lipstick. I think I've got a lipstick here. Let's see, I've got my little, my little makeup purse. This is my little um, filming makeup purse. I just have my little bit 
bits and pieces in there on my desk. So you can pop your little lipstick in there. Okay, and then you can do your, your ribbon. So put that in there. I won't leave that in there now because I'll probably forget that's where I've put it. <laughs> and then I'll be looking for it next time I go to film my next Facebook Live. All right, now I've got the, the seam just there. I'm gonna have that at the back of the box, okay? And then we'll take our ribbon. We've got our beautiful soft seafoam ribbon that coordinates with this suite and we're going to wrap that around and we're going to tie a bow. Now, depending on, I don't have a measurement of the ribbon because I tie it just straight from the, the roll, but depending on how long or big you like your bows will depend will determine the amount of ribbon that you need on these boxes i don't think you need a huge ribbon a huge bow because the box is only quite small and if you had a very that's actually not long enough though if you had a very big bow it might look a bit funny on a tiny little box so we'll wrap that around it's always tricky tying ribbon on camera. Every time. Oops. Oh, where did my tail go? There it is. Oh, nearly lost it. This ribbon actually ties quite easily. It's one of the easier ones to tie. There we go. That's not too bad. All right. So the reason that we tie the ribbon around that way is so that the what uh, the ends of the box don't fall out um, and your gift fall out of the box before it's actually opened by the recipient. There we go. Okay, so then we'll just trim up our ribbon and we can do a little bit further trimming uh, if we want to. Hey Helen, uh, Helen says she'll have to catch the rest on replay. She's off to cut her last card making for the year. Oh, enjoy Helen, have a great time. Matthew likes this little box, he thinks that it's cute. It is a cute little box, isn't it? You can put all sorts of things in this little box. Little yummies and all sorts, all sorts of things. All right, so I'm gonna trim that up just a little bit more because it's a little bit long. We don't want it too long. There we go. So we've got our bow. I find every time I tie a bow, it always looks different. And now we're going to make the um, embellishment for the bow. Okay, so that's the first step. And then we make our little tag or whatever it is that we're going to put on there. And we add that next. Okay, so we are going to, um, I've got some white cardstock scraps so I'm going to get a couple of those let's pop my little box actually I've got my book I've got my ribbon twisted that's why that bow is sitting differently let me just fix that ribbon because if I don't fix it it's going to annoy me <laughs> it was all twisted under there that's why it was sitting a little bit different there we go that should be better let's try that again Oh, Matthew's got a great idea. You can even put a few M&Ms or Smarties in there. That's a great idea. Yes, something yummy. I wonder too if some little, um, haven't tried it, but you know how you can buy the little Kinder Surprise sticks? Not sure of the length of those. This might be a little bit short for that, but you could easily make it longer and um, put one of those little Kinder Surprise sticks or a couple of those in here. Okay, you kind of, you get the idea. I mean, you know, bows. You can fiddle with bows forever, can't you? <laughs> till, you till you get them how you want them. That one's a bit better than the previous one. There we go. All right, I'll trim that up. Okay, so there we go. There's our little bow. And now let's bring in um, our dies. So we need, so I've just got some scrap white cardstock, but we also need some scrap um, copper cardstock. Now, do you keep all your scraps of your, especially of your foil cardstock? I always keep all my little scrappy bits of foil cardstock because um, you can use these. And the foil cardstock 
you know, it, it costs a bit more than some of the others because it's specialty and it's foil. So keep those because you can use them for all your little dies. So I have pulled out already some of my copper pieces here that I'm going to use for my leaves. Now, I wasn't sure which size. I'd probably be able to get away with these ones. Um, but yeah, so we just need those. All right, so I'm going to bring in my mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. And oh, we should do some stamping first. Hang on, let's do our stamping first before we do that. I'm jumping ahead. All right, so let's bring in, we're going to um, cut our little tag and we're going to use the little pot out of our um, die set to do that. Now let's see, yeah, I'll get one out of that. And let's see, and I'll get one out of that. Actually, would I get two out of that? Not quite. All right, so we only need those two little scrappy pieces. So that's good. All right, so the larger piece, I'm going to stamp my sentiment. Now I'm going to use some Fresh Freesia ink. And I'm going to use the sentiment, Let's Celebrate. I think that's a really lovely one. And I love the font in these um these sentiments in this stamp set. They're just really beautiful. So I'm going to use the Let's Celebrate and I've already got that on a block ready to go. So we'll use some, I'll just move my foil cardstock. Um, I'm going to stamp onto this one here. So I'll stamp this in the middle. There we go, beautiful. And then we need a little B as well. So for the B, let me just move my tools out of the way. There we go. Um, for the B, I'm going to stamp that in soft sea foam, because why not? I know bees are usually yellow and black, but let's have a pretty B and have it stamped in a different color, because we can. So here's my little B, and I'm going to stamp that in um, the soft sea foam and we'll stamp it onto that piece there we go and now we'll do our die cutting I'll clean my stamps first though I'm going to stamp them off onto a scrap I had a scrap here somewhere here we go just stamp the excess ink off onto scrap paper first there we go and then we can give them a clean with our chamois Always good to clean your stamp straight away, as I always say. Keep them in good condition. There we go. Lovely. Now we'll bring in our, our little mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. And did you know that at the moment, demonstrators can purchase a very special mini stamp and cut and emboss machine in a brand new color called Boho Blue. Boho Blue is going to be one of the new in colors in the new uh, 2023 to 2024 annual catalog. So we got a little sneak peek already of the Boho Blue mini machine. And as demonstrators, we can purchase it already. Um, which means anybody joining um, in, sorry, during celebration, anybody joining during celebration can choose the um, stamp and cut and boss the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine in the boho blue in their starter kit which is super exciting but as demonstrators right now we are able to um, pre-order that which is super exciting i know a lot of demonstrators have been jumping on that I'm just going to get some new washi tape so yes so it's going to be available in uh, january and february to our customers when they join which is super exciting very special so I love the mini machine. It's a great little machine and uh, super handy. And it die cuts a lot of our dies. Um, there's not very many of our dies that don't fit in it actually, just some of the really large ones, but the majority of the dies do fit in it. And we've got special embossing folders that fit through the mini as well. Some of the larger ones do need the large machine, but I love the little machine. And it's very handy for um, taking with you. So we've got one. I'm going to cut one plain one as well. 
Um, it's great for taking with you if you go to crops, if you go on holidays. Um, it's a nice little compact machine when it's all folded up. And um, yeah, uh, and it's great on the desk too because it doesn't take up very much space. And I love that. All right, it comes with everything that you need as well to, um, to get crafting. Comes with all your plates that you need and your embossing um, plates that you need as well. So we'll just pop that one there. And then we've got our little B. So I'll bring in the little B die, which is this one here. Whoops, this one's falling off. Oh, we do need that one actually. I'll take that one out too. That's our little B. Now I always have trouble working out which way to line this up. Oh, there we go. I got it. So we'll run that through at the same time. Oops, we'll just get that lined up. There we go. There we go. Put a little bit of washi tape to hold that in place and we'll run those two through. There we go. Oh, Amber suggested a little packet of Lifesaver lollies or Mentos might fit too. I was thinking that actually. I was, I was at the um, chemist the other day and they had a few of those types of lollies at the counter and I was so tempted to buy them because I was thinking of this little box too, thinking, I wonder if they would fit. I should have got some to test it. I think they would because they're often about the size of a, a lip balm, those little packets of Lifesavers. Mentos, I'm not sure. Mentos are a bit bigger, although you can buy those little mini size ones, can't you? I'm sure there'll be lots of things that would fit in this little box. All right. So now we've got those done and now we just need our um, leaves. So I'm going to cut from our leaves. Um, let's see. Oh, good. I can fit a full piece there, but let's not waste that extra, that extra foil. Oh, that can go through because all of that's used. Now we need two of these leaves. So I just need to do one at a time. So we'll take that through. What else? Any other ideas of what we could put in these little boxes? Anybody else got any great ideas? Pop them in the comments if you do. I'd love to hear your ideas. Oops, helps if I take the cap off my take your pick tool. So we'll just poke out those extra little pieces. There we go. Oh, Julie just said, Julie just said, yes, you're right, Amber, you can get a packet of mini Mentos and Chopper Chops from Woolies to fit in these. Oh, that'd be awesome. That's a great idea. All right, so we'll just take that, oops, we'll just take that out of the die. They're a little bit delicate, these ones. So you need to just take them out carefully. There we go. So there's one, and now I'll just cut another one. But I don't need a full piece of the other one. So um, I'll probably just use that one there. The reason I'm not running the whole big piece through my die, my die cutting machine, um, I'm cutting it just the size that I need, is because if you do run through, um, if you have well used plates like mine that are all cut up like this, and you run that through, they will actually mark your foil cardstock. So that is why I'm only using as much foil cardstock as I actually need and not any excess because I don't want to damage the excess cardstock so that I can use that um, for other projects. There we go. Oh, Julie said maybe a couple of lint chocolates. I wonder if they would fit in the little lint balls. I just had a couple actually here and I ate them <laughs> in the last couple of days. I think the lint balls might be a little bit wider, Julie. I think they're a little bit, this might be a little bit narrow for a lint ball. But that was a good idea. But you know you get, um, at Christmas time, you can get the little lint Easter eggs. They would fit. So you could make these for Easter as well. And use your, um, you know, decorate them up for Easter and put some some little 
maybe lint Easter eggs in there or, or some little, you know, wrapped Easter eggs. That would be a great idea. All right. So we'll take this one out. So we'll just, on this die there are little holes here that you push your pokey pokey tool, as I like to call it, your take your pick tool through there, and that releases the cardstock out of the die. This one, as I said, is a little bit delicate, so just be careful as you lift that out. There we go. Okay, so put that one back on my die sheet. All right, so we didn't use very much gold, uh, sorry, copper foil cardstock at all in the end. So that is good. All right, let's put our machine away. Out of the way. There we go. All right, let's get rid of all of these scrappy bits. Oh, don't want to lose our B. So we've got that bit. I'll just, with this piece, I'm just going to cut off that excess there that we don't need. There we go. Okay, and oh, I better put this die back so I don't lose him. All right, hey Martha, how are you going? Great to have you with us. You're a little bit late, that's okay. Not a problem at all. Feel free to go back and um, watch the replay. We're making this cute little box today. And I've got this, I just realized I've got this tail much longer than the other side. There we go, that's better. All right, so we're gonna make our little tag now. So what we're going to do is we are going to position our um, our embellishments on the back of our tag and then we're going to sandwich them between another one as well so that it's nice and neat on the back okay so we need to flip that one over I'll show you that in a moment so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop a little bit of um, adhesive down let me see what will I use I'll use I've got my stamp and seal plus out so I'll use that to put along there and then I'll turn this over facing me so that I can see how I want to position my leaves. Okay, so that's the first one. And then the second one, might need another piece of adhesive over the top of that one. That one is going to just sit down behind that one, just so that they're sort of overlapping a little bit like that. There we go, like that, okay. And then what I did is I did use my liquid glue for this because I wanted them to, um, I wanted to have that wiggle room to be able to put the two pieces of the pot together. So I just put glue on top of those die cut pieces as well. And on the pot, there we go, whoops. Got my finger, my finger caught there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn the pot right. So we've got this one upside down now. We've got this pot right way up. And we're just going to put that down on top and sandwich them together. Line that up. And just check from the front to make sure that it's nicely lined up. And then give that a good squeeze. So then you can see that the, um, the leaves are between the two layers. So the back of the tag will still look nice and neat. You do see the white, the white side of the leaves on the other side, but that's okay. You could always color the back side with um, Stampin' Blends if you wanted to, but I'm happy just with that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a, um, I've got a, a 1 16th inch, no 1 8th, this one is 1 8th inch punch, and I'm going to punch in the corner here. Oh, hang on, I've got it upside down, there we go. Just going to punch a little hole here in the corner to thread some thread through and the Stampin' Up! doesn't currently have a 1 8th of the, an inch um, stamp. We used a uh, punch. We used to have one but uh, we don't have one anymore. So okay, got a little bit of glue there on the back. Alrighty, now what we're going to do is take our little B and we're going to pop our little B just there. Now, if you wanted to put that up on dimensionals, you can. 
Um, I just stuck mine flat, so I'm just going to put a little bit of um, glue just on the bottom of the B die cut and just have him there like that. So you can still read the words, but he's flying up into the leaves there. And now what we're going to do is take a little piece of Baker's twine. So I've got, you've got, you can use whatever you like. I brought out all the twine. Um, I didn't bring out the uh, in color twine because it didn't coordinate with the colors that I was using. Um, but, I, but the silver and gold, I sort of thought, well, that's not really going to match because we've got copper here. But if you don't mind mixing your uh, metallics, you could use silver or gold as well to tie your tag on. We don't have any copper trim at the moment, but that's okay. Um, so you could use those or you could use some linen thread. You could use some of the baker's twine, the colored baker's twine. I decided to just go with white baker's twine and I've got some old rolls that I'm still using up. So I'm going to use some of that. And the baker's twine now does come in the five pack. It's called baker's twine essential pack and you get the five colors in um, the pack, which is super awesome. So it's very handy to have all of those. Um, Dimity said she's made three boxes so far. Awesome. Uh, she thinks these are great for teacher's gifts as well. Great thinking, Dimity. I like that. Yes. These would make great teacher's gifts. All right. So I'm just going to tie, I'm going to just trim a long piece of twine there. I'll just pop that away. And I'm just going to double that over and thread that through that hole that we made. It just fits through the hole. I'll get that through. Come on, come on. There we go. And thread it back through itself. So thread those two ends back through the loop. Okay, so then you've got two separate ends here. If I separate those, two separate ends here that we can tie around our tag. Now, this is a tricky bit, trying to get it to sit exactly where you want it to sit so I want mine to sit this is really the trickiest part of the whole the whole thing I think is just getting <laughs> getting the tag to sit exactly where you want it to I want it to kind of sit here you can have it sit on top of the bow if you want to or on top of this Amber tied this one for me and she's got that one sitting there with this one I had it sitting underneath the bow depends on how you can tie it on you might need to twist your um, your twine around a few times to get it to sit exactly where you want it and how you want it. I think I want this to go over the other way. Let's see. Yes, over that, that way and under. All right, let's try that. Whoop. And the good thing about this, um, the soft seafoam ribbon, is it usually... If you've tied it well, it usually stays put while you fiddle with your twine. Whoops. Oh, no. One of them. Yep, that one's right. Now this one's got to go. This one's got to go. Which way? This way. Over and under. Over and under? This way. Over and under. <laughs> As I said, this is the trickiest part, is tying your twine. That one's gone under that way. Yes, that's where I wanted it. This one has to go under the other way. Okay, opposite way. We'll thread that under the box. When I was making these for my teen gifts, I did multiples of these. And by the time I got, a, you know, one or two done, I was good for the rest because um, I had the practice then, but I had made those a little while ago. So I kind of forgot how I tied them. It was something like that. Anyway, you can fiddle with your twine and, and get that um, tied around however you like. I wanted to try and have that around the center of my bow if possible. And then you can either do a double bow if you've got enough twine or you can just tie a knot and I'll show you the, the um, two different ways. So I'm just going to trim that. I've just tied that as a knot 
okay so that's so whichever way you like so I've just got that tied in a knot there and then this one has been tied in a bow so you've got a bow and a bow so you've got like a double bow there so there you go so there is our sweet little gift box with our little tag So, oh, you're very welcome, Fran. Be sure to, to um, look out for my blog. Remember, this is my blog here. So be sure to look out for my blog for all of the measurements. And um, as I said, I'll put that up there tomorrow. Um, so I'll try and get it up uh, tonight, hopefully. If not tonight, it'll be tomorrow. <laughs> so there you go. So there's our sweet little boxes. So let's bring in the other ones as well. There's our little Christmas one, and that's already got a little Christmas gift in it. So aren't they cute? They're super quick and easy to make these little boxes. Um, and then you can just decorate them however you like with a tag. Um, as I did with this one, I just put the embellishments on there and then just slid the ribbon over. In fact, what I did is I tied, tied the ribbon first and then I slid the little leaves underneath the ribbon to sit in the right place. So you could even do that with some of these dies as well. You could have some of these dies just coming out from behind the ribbon in there. Um, yeah, so if you had die cut, say, one of these ones, instead of having a tag like this, you could just have that coming out from behind your ribbon, have a couple of those, or you could include one of these other die cuts as well and die cut some coloured cardstock or foil and have them coming out from underneath the ribbon. You can do lots of different things. So there you go. So I hope you really enjoyed that today. So that is my little um, lip balm gift box. So I hope you enjoyed that. And all of the measurements will be up on my blog tomorrow. So be sure to go and, um, and check that out. So there you go. Oh, you like that, Susan? You, like, you love small boxes. Yeah, they're lots of fun, aren't they? I love making 3D projects. They're lots of fun. All right, well, I'm going to tip the camera back up so that I can say um, goodbye to you properly. So bear with me and I'll just get that ready. Here we go. All right, so I'll just adjust my stand here. Oops, every time I do that, my iPad falls down. There we go. Oh, undo that clamp. That's very tight. I always have to do that one up very tightly because otherwise um, the whole thing falls down. There we go. Oh, we're up in the sky. And it didn't flip. No, it did flip. That's the right way around, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Oh, flipping, not flipping. Lights, stay there, lights. I think I need to uh, tighten up the screws on my my light um, stand as well. They're getting a bit loose. A bit loose, they're wanting to fall down on me as well. There we go, okay. And there we've got our little, our little friend there in the background, our little Elfie. <laughs> so there you go, so there's our little box today. I'll see if I can get that sitting sitting up if I hold my my hand there actually let me hold this one up because this one you can see the tag better you see the tag better on this one let's see Whoop. there we go there it is so I hope you like that there's an up close an up close picture of the little box isn't that sweet oh there's our little tag um if you wanted to depending on the type of ribbon that you're using you could put a little um a little glue dot or a little a glue dot would actually probably work better or a dimensional and adhere it just to the ribbon don't adhere it to the box because remember that ribbon needs to slide off for them to for your recipient to um, open the box um, I did try it with dimensionals and the ones the ribbon that I was using was this one um, which is the it's the shimmery ribbon 
and the glue the uh, dimensionals didn't like to stick to that because of the the glitter I think it was in the ribbon so um, yeah so that didn't work with the dimensionals but depends on the type of ribbon the ones with the just be careful of the ones that have the organza in them that they don't stick right through to the if you're putting adhesive on there that it doesn't stick to the top of the box so yeah just fiddle and just play and just I might even try with this one and see how the dimensionals stick onto this ribbon it's quite a shiny ribbon so we'll see but there you go so i hope you enjoyed that that project today but thank you all so much for joining me um jill said it is a sweet box she can see herself making some of these very soon oh that's good jill i'm so glad and martha loves them too she said they're beautiful fantastic oh that's really good i'm glad you all enjoyed that and they're so quick and easy to make. The hardest part is the decorating of the tag. Um, yeah, the box itself is really quick, actually. So thank you all so much for joining me today. Remember, I will have all of the um, dimensions and the uh, scoring and measurements and everything up on my blog tomorrow. And um, so look out for that. I can't give you a time tomorrow. It'll just be some time tomorrow. I'm not sure what time I'll get it up there because I do have a couple of appointments tomorrow. So... We'll see how we go. <laughs> oh, hi, Danielle. How are you going? We are actually just finishing up, um, but feel free to go back and watch the replay because we made this sweet little box today, this sweet little gift box um, that fits a lip balm. We talked about all different sorts of things that fits in this cute little gift box. Lip balm, lollies, chocolates, um, lipstick, yeah, lots of different things. We'll make a nice little box for um, a lipstick gift too, if you like to give makeup. Um, yeah, so anyway. All right, well, I hope you all have a great week this week. If there's anything that I can help you with or if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me and get in contact. Um, again, remember that we've got the last chance sale at the moment and the uh, clearance rack, both up to 60% on discounted uh, sorry 60 percent discount on products um in the clearance rack they're ones that already have retired in the last chance products they are ones that are retiring so they won't be around for very long at all um, the ones in the clearance rack are while supplies well actually all of them are while supplies last so once they're gone they're gone for good so be sure to check those out um oh danielle said she's she's very she's good she's busy wedding planning how exciting oh that's so wonderful that's amazing weddings are exciting things to plan for <laughs> all right well have a great week everyone and i look forward to seeing you again next monday um, we are creeping up on christmas so remember if you wanted any products for christmas get your orders in stampin up did give us um did tell us to let our customers and team know if they want to make sure that they get their products by Christmas then to get them in by the 5th of December which is actually today um, so you may still get them if you put your orders in later but I'm not going to guarantee anything because <laughs> we all know what shipping's like these days and it's going to get busier leading up to Christmas so uh, if there's anything you want then don't delay uh, I don't want you to be disappointed but have a great week and I will say goodbye until next time. Happy crafting, everyone. Bye.